Hi, I'm Louis Cavoris, and this is our Art Encounter. I wanted to bring, um, as we dive into chapter two, which is about art in the first function, I wanted to bring some, a work of art that many would consider to be abstract. This is, in my collection, probably the most minimalist work of art and probably the most abstract work that I own. So um, it's really kind of near and dear. It's got a great story, a great provenance of how I came to get this work. But let's start with those questions. So one, if we were in class, I would say, what is it? And again, someone would say, okay, this is framed, so it's a work on paper. And you can see the paper. I'm gonna zoom in close um, and cut away here so that you can get a closer look at the work. Now, this work is in far better condition than our last work. Um, and it has been preserved um, probably far um, better and much earlier in its existence. Yes, work on paper. And I'll say, um, if we look in close, there's some clues that tell us some things about it, that if we look down in one of the corners, we see this number, 49 slash 50. Now, someone in the class, I, might, I would ask, what does that mean? That language that's written here on this work. And someone would come to, it's a print. This um, is a lithograph. So different than the engraving or etching that we saw on a copper plate, this is a work that is done on a litho stone. So it's a process where um, a different resist is put on so that the ink um, only takes and adheres to specific parts of the work. This was probably printed in two different, um, two different printings. And you'll see because most people, when they first look at this, think, oh, it's only a black line. It's this black slash across the piece of paper. But if you dive in closer to the work, you realize that this black slash is on this kind of beautiful ivory um, yellowed square. And, um, or maybe we would say something like acre or, you know, we would find a specific color of it and then it's on ivory paper. So you are, when we're looking at this work of art, just the piece of paper that is the work of art, you're actually looking at three different colors that exist, plus the color of the instrument that signed the work, the 49 slash 50. Now, what does 49 slash 50 means, mean? That means that this is number 49 in a series of 50 prints. So this artist made 50 of these prints and they exist out in the world and were probably sold. And this is the one I purchased. I was lucky to get number 49 of the series, yes. Um, if we look at the other corner, that gives us some other clues. You see this words that say Li Yufan. So here in the corner, Li Yufan is the name of the artist. The artist who made this is a Korean born artist who works in Japan. And he, um, his last name is Li, his first name is Yufan. And in the Korean tradition, he goes by the, the last name first, Li Yufan. Um, and you also see this work is from 03. So 2003, this work came into existence and this work was printed. Yeah. I bought this work in Japan in 2007. I was dancing and um, traveling and doing a concert and I um, found this work um, there in the gallery and was um, went ahead and purchased the work. Um, and um, lucky to have bought it because um, the work, when I came back to America, was being sold for more in America, which makes sense. And then a surprising thing in 2011, Li Yufan had a show at the Guggenheim Museum. So this work skyrocketed and jumped in price because suddenly he became known as um, an entity. He was sort of welcomed into the, the uh, art world at his, at his actually senior age. He was actually pretty um, unknown until this big event. Only certain people knew him. Now most of the people in the world of abstraction and the world of abstract art know the artist Li Yufan. Um, 
and his Guggenheim show with paintings and um, particularly were and sculptures were amazing. As you can see, he does very minimalist work. If we had to talk about this work, one might say this is a single brushstroke, and that's an amazing fact, you know. And again, I I love the work, um, but um, someone might have issues with it because they think, oh my gosh, just one brushstroke. Most works of art are many millions of, you know, th hundreds of thousands of brushstrokes that came together to make the Renoir piece, and here we have a single brushstroke. Liu Fan is interested in philosophy, and he's particularly interested in phenomenology, which we'll study as we get into other parts of this course. Um, but um, you can see that this work is linked to this idea of contemplation, this idea of contemplating beauty, contemplating existence, and the existence of a single stroke, the single brush stroke on a work, challenging us to say, can a work of art be a single brush stroke? Now, I want to say some things about this work because that are really relevant to what we're going to be studying. We can look at this in the what is it and um, what is it about. That's one category. But if you look at this work clearly, one of the things that I love about it, if you look at the work in person, I love the color black that he chose. I'm going to zoom in closer here. And if you can see, it's not a glossy black. It's got an incredible amount of depth to it. And it's not actually the same color black all the way through, although it is the same color of ink. The way the black hits the paper and the way the brush stroke got printed in this print is beautiful. It has a kind of ephemeral quality and it has a kind of incredible depth to it. And it's a beautiful color. The black was just not any black. I suppose Liu Fan chose a specific way a treatment and a specific way for this to happen. Also that one little drip, that little ghost of an image there is also I think important and he could have wiped that away so that that part did not get printed but instead he thought that that was a beautiful part of the work and should be printed and it is part of this series of, of 50 prints. Also, it's a beautiful color of ivory paper that he chose for this work to be printed on, and it's a beautiful, this, this color of acre or bone or however you want to think about that neutral color background that the black stroke exists upon, that is also beautiful. So you see that these, are, these elements are quite um, beautiful. Now again, when I printed it, I loved the edge of the paper that had that little jaggedness that I thought that that was part of it, that I wanted someone to see every part of this work of art and not matted in close. Um, so instead, I again floated this within the canvas, which is a choice I always like when I'm, I'm framing um, a work often like this. Um, then also, I spent a lot of time figuring out what color should go <laughs> on the mat behind the piece. So I finally chose this darker color and then a really natural wood frame. So uh, part of the reason the aesthetics of picking that, someone might say, well, maybe it would look great in a black frame, but I, I felt like, mm, I love these colors these colors and I didn't want to take away from the black brush strokes. So the brown seemed a really great choice and you can see as I feel the colors fit together here. These from the ivoriness to the the deep brown of the frame. All of those create a kind of harmony. This work is called Revelation number four. So I, as I look at it, it's, it's a wonderful one to contemplate and to think about what we see. And it is, for me, a revelation. So our art encounter of the day, Li Yufan, revelation number four, number 49 of 50. And this was made in 2003.